Hello viewers, welcome once again to XM North online math class. Today we are going to discuss uh, the solutions to the 2016 past questions of uh, BESE, Basic Education Certificate Examination. So we are going to discuss the solution to the 2016 past uh, questions. If it's your first time of viewing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to always get notifications whenever a new video is uploaded. So the first question, which they called question number 1A, this is 1A, we are asked to express 1011 base 2 in denary. Denary or decimal, they are st just talking about base 10. So we are to express this number in base 2 to a base which is 10. So look at the procedure, you have 1011 base 2. The first number, call it, attach a power of 0, 1, 2 and 3 and so on and so forth. If the number continues to go, you keep on writing 4, 5, 6 until the end of the number. So this is equivalent to expressing it in powers of base 2, which is 1 multiplying a 2 to a power of 3 plus 0 multiplying 2 to a power of 2 plus 1 multiplying 2 to a power of 1 plus the last one here, multiplying 2 to a power of uh, 0. So this is the same thing as 1 times 2 to the power of 3 is 8, because 2 times 2 times 2 will give us uh, 8. So this turns to 8, plus uh, 2 power of 2 is 4, so we have 0 multiplying 4, plus we have 1 multiplying 2 to the power of 1 is still 2, plus 1 times 2 to the power of 0 is uh, 1. So we'll have 1 times 8 will give us uh, 8, plus 0 times 4 will give us 0, plus uh, 1 times 2 will give us 2, plus 1 times 1 will give us uh, 1. So we we'll add together 8 plus 2 is 10, and 10 plus 1 will give us 11 to base 10. This is just the answer, 11 base 10. So let's take the second question for the day. So in the second question, we have solve the equation 2x over 3 minus 2 equals 3 over 3x over 2 plus 3. So to solve this, you observe that this is a fraction. And solving fractions is not that easy. So to get rid of this fraction, you have to multiply every member of this equation by the LCM of the denominators. And the denominators we have in here are just 3 and 2. When you get the LCM of 3 and 2, it will give you 6. So we are going to use 6 to multiply everything in this uh, equation to get rid of this uh, fraction. So we shall have uh, 6 multiplying uh, 2x all over 3 minus 6 multiplying 2 and multiplying everything by 6 equals 6 multiplying 3x over 2 plus 6 multiplying 3. So that is the strategy you have to employ if you want to clear the fractions. Now, this will divide, we are having 2 here. This will divide, we are having uh, 3. So we have 2 times 2x, we have uh, 4x minus 6 times 2 will give us uh, 12 equals 3 times 3x is uh, 9x plus 6 times 3 is uh, 18. You can now see that we have cleared the fraction and we are left with just a simple linear equation. So now we have to collect like terms. We have 4x is here already. 9x coming here will be minus 9x equals we have 18 at the right hand side minus 12. If we move to this side, it will turn to plus 12. 4x minus 9x will give us minus 5x equals 18 plus 12 will give us 30. Now having got 30, to get the value of x, I will divide everything by minus uh, 5. So we have minus 5 over minus 5. This cancels out. When I divide 30 by minus 5, I will get minus 6. So the value of x in this equation is minus uh, 6. Let us take the next question. So in question number 1c, we are asked to calculate the simple interest on 60,000 Naira for three years at 5% per annum. 
So we have a formula we use in calculating simple interest. So simple interest, SI, is something as principal times rate times uh, time all over 100. So our principal is 60,000. So we have 60,000. Principal is the amount of money you've borrowed or the amount of money you've saved. Times the rate, our rate is 5%. Times the time, three years, everything all over 100. Now, two zero here will cancel two zero. We are having uh, just 600 times 5. By times 600 by 5, I'll have 3,000. Then times 3,000 by 3, I'll have uh, 9,000. So it will give me just uh, 9,000 naira. That is my simple interest. So after three years, at a rate of 5%, 5 60,000 naira will yield an interest of. Uh, 9,000 naira. So assuming we are asked to get the amount in this particular question, I will just add the interest to the principal to get 69,000 naira because amount is the sum of principal and the interest. So let's go to number two question now. So in question 2a, we are asked to calculate the area of a rhombus whose diagonals are 8 cm and 16 cm long. This is a rhombus. Um, all the sides are equal. That's one property. So diagonal is just this line joining uh, two vertices together. This is also a diagonal. So we are told that the first diagonal is 8 cm long, while the second one is 16 cm long. Without doing any mathematics here, wasting your time, provided that the diagonal are given, the area of a rhombus will now be half d1 d2 so that is half times the product of the diagonals will give you the area of the rhombus so the area will just be half multiplying the first diagonal is 8 cm times the second diagonal is 16 cm so when i times i have half times 8 is 4 cm so we have 4 cm times 16 cm so when i multiply 4 by 6 i'll get uh, 64 cm squared so this is just the area of this uh, rhombus so finally let us conclude with the last question so finally we have this question 2b which says that we should find the length de as de we are looking for this length here in the diagram below take a look at this diagram you can see the symbols here showing that these triangles are these triangles are similar triangles because there are two triangles here we have triangle ade and the triangle abc abc is bigger than ade but they are similar and if they are similar it means that corresponding sides are equal now i can draw these triangles like this look at the first smaller one smaller one is a d E, and I have here as 4 then I don't know this side so let me call here X which is DE so let me call DE X the bigger triangle is something like this we have here as A B and C so here is a 5 cm 4 cm but the total length here means 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 which will give us C cm that is the total length of this particular triangle here. So you can see that 4 plus 2 will give us a 6. Now, if two triangles are similar, it means that the ratio of their corresponding sides are equal. So if I begin from this small one, this side and this side are corresponding because they are facing each other. So I can write that 4 over 6 equals, coming here, this and this are corresponding. Therefore, they are similar too. So I can write x over 5. Don't make the mistake of saying 4 over 6 equal to 5 over x is wrong i began with the smaller one therefore i will still begin with the smaller one when I'm, i want to take the next side so you see what i did here to get this 6 4 plus 2 will give me 6 because this is a, the length ac so ac is just ae plus ec all right now remember x my x is equivalent to line de they want us to get so X is just line DE they want us to get because I've called DE as X. So once I get the value of X, I've answered this particular question. So cross multiply, I have uh, 6X equals uh, 20 because 4 times 5 will give us 20. 
so to get the value of x i'll divide everything by six so x will give me 20 by 2 here is 3 2 here is 10 so i have 10 over 3 cm which is the same thing as 3 whole number 1 over 3 centimeter so you've seen how we successfully answer this particular question without waste of uh, time if you've enjoyed what you've watched kindly subscribe to my channel it will always give you notification whenever a new video is uploaded thank you